Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, I am Jules Gia. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check. Muli namin kayong iniimbitahan for another season of teaching and learning. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inhanda natin for them this season. Kaya samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition dahil may tatanghalin na naman tayong panibagong K-Check Champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Them is a UP Diliman Statistics undergrad. She loves team sports, singing, photography, and going cafe shopping. Her sole wish in life is to become a golden retriever mom. Wow. Ang dali naman ng sole wish na yun. Ang cute. Okay. Ito naman, si Nimra, uh, a student of UP Diliman. He studies malikhaing pagsulat sa Pilipino. His li he likes to be physically active and try out different experiences. And he also reads and watches anime. Sunod naman si Sami, sa BA Linguistic student in UP Diliman. Her hobbies include crocheting, occasionally writing, listening to music, and learning languages. She also has a pet bird named Ruru. May family name. <laughs> Tarungin natin mamaya. <laughs> Sunod naman ito si Jake, a student athlete and member of the UP men's football team of UP Diliman. Wow. His hobbies are writing journals, playing the ukulele, tasting coffee, and playing other sports. Also fluent in Korean because he's half Korean and Filipino. Anyong aseyo. <laughs> Mag-uusap na lang kayo mamaya. <laughs> These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. First, we have Professor Mitzi Reyes, former Dean of the College of Fine Arts, UP Diliman. We also have Professor Ricky Nellas of the Institute of Chemistry, also in UP Diliman. And last but not least, Professor Luisa De Leon Bulinao, former Chair of the Department of History, UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, ito na ang opportunity na kayo ay magpapakitang gilas. Buzz in, but wait till you're acknowledged before you answer. Para di sayang ang effort. Let's begin. Question number one. In the calendar, what month is between December and February? Jake. January. No, no other month is between December and February. The answer is correct. K-check. Question number two. In astronomy, what star is in the center of the solar system? Jake. Sun? The sun is the center of the solar system. K-check. Question number three. Which Pokemon's name is the word snake spelled backwards? Sammy? Ekans? Ekans is correct. K-check. Question number four. In what city can you find a clock tower housing the Big Ben? Nimra. England. The answer is wrong. Jake. United Kingdom. The answer is wrong. Sammy. London. London is the correct answer. Because in what city was the question? And the city is London. Question number five. In what continent do people in 20 countries mostly use the euro as legal tender? Jake. Europe. Europe is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number six. Kamay sa dibdib. The title of what Olivia Rodrigo hit song is a French term that describes the feeling that you have already experienced something. Bam. Deja vu. Deja vu is the correct answer. K check. Question number seven. In the Christian calendar, what day follows Monday Thursday? Sammy. Good Friday. Good Friday is the correct answer. K check. Question number eight. 
which of the three branches of the government mostly involves senators and congressmen and their duties? Nimra. Judicial. The answer is wrong. The answer is the legislative branch of government. Question number nine. What kind of animal is Mali, a one-of-its-kind creature at the Manila Zoo, who passed away at the approximate age of 50? Nimra. Elephant. Mali was an elephant. K check. Question number 10. In mental math, your favorite subject. 20 is 50% of what number? Bam. 10. The answer is wrong. Twenty is fifty percent of the number forty. Question number eleven. According to the Christmas Carol, children laughing, people passing, meeting smile after smile, and on every street corner you'll hear what? Time's up. Parang ang dami na nga kumakanta. The correct answer is Silver Bells. Last question for this round. Question number 12. In what country will you have to go to to experience the great beaches in Busan and Jeju Island? You will never, maybe you'll never hear the end of this. Bam! South Korea is the correct answer. Jake, <laughs> they'll never forgive you for this. And that completes our first round. Thank you so much, Attorney Gabby, for that round. So, tingnan natin ang recap ng scores. Sammy and Jake tie with 30 points. Sana hindi sila magtatay. <laughs> Oo nga eh. Sana si Mr. Korea hindi na... Mukhang Sana hindi na matatapos to. Okay, si Bem naman with 20 points at si Nimra with 10 points. Ang kagandahan dito sa K-Check sa bawat round ay may chance kayong makahabol. So, laging tandaan, habang may round, may pag-asa. Si contestant Bem, Gusto nang maging isang ina ng Golden Retriever lang. Kinaba kinabahan dyan. <laughs> Sabi niya, nanonood ang nanay ko. <laughs> Bakit Golden Retriever? Kasi para sa lang epitome of happiness, you know? Pag sa isang species, parang you think of happiness, you think of a Golden Retriever. I can attest to that. I have a Golden really? Retriever. Yes, super bait. When I think of happiness, I think of food. That is also true. <laughs> that is also true. Okay, from Golden Retriever, ngayon naman si Nimra. Okay, ay isang sudyante ng balikaing pagsusulat. So, can you give us a few lines of uh, the, the work na mga nagawa mo before? I think mas kaya ko may bigay, mga title. Ah, sige, mga, title. Um, ilan lang ay yung sa Poang Sabi Ak na Lupa, uh, Sumilip si Gaya. It's a short story that I've written and to be... Um, sold sa, sa, sa mga expos na pupuntahan din namin. Have you posted that somewhere or...? I have not because wala pa po kami online copy. No? Okay. So parang more on physical copies pa lang inaman namin. Hmm? Yeah, so... Oh, ang seryosong tao si Nimra. Okay, ang lalim ng mga titles oh. pa lang eh. Okay. Pero siyempre, in the meantime, we are going to the round two. Lahat ng yan sa pagbabalik ng... K-Check! Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Recap muna tayo ng points. Tay with 30 points, si Sami at Jake. Bem has 20 points. At si Nimra naman ay merong 10 points. So, meron akong question kay Sami. I think Sami is our very first pet bird owner. 
Named after the actor ba yung pet mo? Meron ba siyang family name? Ay, hindi po. Named po siya after <laughs> Ronald McDonald po kasi. Kasi tatlo po sila. So, si Jabby, si Jollibee. Ay, pwede ba mo? Sana maging sponsor natin. Oo. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos si Ruru, so Ronald McDonald. Tapos yung pangat po si Ken. Kips. Oh, okay. So, linguistic student ka. Naturoan mo na ba siyang magsalita? Siguro po. Naiintindihan ko po siya. Joke. Kina sagot din sa inyo. Mukhang nag mukhang nagkakaintindihan yes. naman sila. Ayan, and speaking of languages, no, ito si Jake pala ay tatlong languages ang alam. Can you tell us about this, Jake? The yes, second speak three languages po. Anong languages yan? Korean, English, and Tagalog. Ah. Isang sample nga ng ano, welcome back to K-Check in Korean. K-Check guru, kasi what is it? Oh, Malay naman natin kung totoo yun. <laughs> Mukhang linoloko lang tayo nito. Hindi nga nakasagot ng ang, ang answer ay Korea, di ba? Pwede na tayo umeri sa arira. <laughs> so, thank you very much everyone. Mag-ready na kayo dahil eto na ang round 2. Contestants, get ready to buzz in but make sure that you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. This is round two. Let's begin. Question number one. Which 2019 live-action Disney film is a remake of a 1941 animated movie that features a baby elephant that can fly using its ears? Them. Dumbo. Dumbo is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. In what mountain range in Asia are nine of the ten tallest mountains in the world located? The correct answer is the Himalayas. Question number three. According to Yahoo Finance, what usually yellow grain is the most consumed crop in the world? Them. Wheat. Wheat? Wheat is mali. Anyone can see it? Nimra. Corn. Corn is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. In boxing. What do you call the swinging punch that is directed upward? Especially... Bem. Uppercut. Let me continue with the question. Especially at an opponent's chin, uppercut is correct. Kate, check. Okay. Alright, question number five. In science, what do you call the sum of the chemical reactions that can take place within each cell of a living organism that provide energy for vital processes? The correct answer is metabolism. Okay, question number six. What sweet but sometimes bitter delicacy is processed from cacao beans? Bem. Chocolate. Chocolate is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. Which of the three branches of government refers to a country's court system that is responsible for interpreting and applying laws? Nimra. Judicial. Judicial or judiciary is correct. Hey, check. Question number eight. In geometry, what do you call the line segment passing through the center of a circle with its endpoints on the circumference of the circle? Bem. Diameter. Diameter is correct. Hey, check. Question number nine. What company was banned by the Comelec from bidding after supplying them with automatic voting machines for 15 years? The correct answer is Smartmatic. Question number 10. In 1898, the Declaration of Independence was held in what town in Cavite? Nimra. Imus? Imus is mali. Bem. Kawit. Kawit is correct. Okay, check. Kawit was also known as Kabite Viejo. Okay, question number 11. 
in biology. It is an organism produced asexually from one ancestor to which they are genetically identical. What is this term which also means an exact copy? Sami. Meiosis? M meiosis? Meiosis. Meiosis is male. <coughs> The answer is clone. Okay, last question for this round. Which female singer whose real name is Onika Tanya Maraj? Them. Nicki Minaj. Let me continue. Saw her 2011 song Super Bass become the highest charting solo single by a female rapper in nearly a decade. Alam mo yung song? Okay. <laughs> the answer is Nicki Minaj. Correct? K-check. And that ends our round number two. At the end of the second round, we have Bem with 130 points, followed by Nimra with 40, Jake with 30, and Sammy with 20 points. Exciting yung round na yun. Pero hindi pa po tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-check. Welcome back to K-Check. Recap muna tayo ng points. Nangunguna si Bem with 130 points. Followed by Nimra with 40 points. Si Jake ay may 30 points. At si Sami ay may 20 points. And now, it's the experts' turn to play Quiz Masters in our ultimate pagalingan round. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each. At may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. At sa ating panel of experts nga magagaling ang mga katanungan para mas exciting. So this is it, guys. Good luck. Let's begin. And we begin the Pagalingan round with Professor Mitzi. Okay, the first question is, what do you call the color scheme based on the combination of several hues located adjacent to each other on the color circle or the color wheel? A, monochromatic. B, chromatic. C, anachromatic, D, analogous, and E, homologous. Nimra, A. The answer is incorrect. Sami. D, analogous. The answer is correct. So analogous colors can be warm colors and cool colors on the color wheel. Next question, Prof. Ricky. Sa chemistry naman tayo. What is the term for a substance that speeds up a chemical reaction without being consumed in the process? A. Catalyst B. Inhibitor C. Reactant D. Product E. Spectator ions Sammy. A. Catalyst Catalysts increase the rate of a chemical reaction by providing an alternative reaction pathway without being consumed. Hey, check. Prof. Lu. World history. Who is known as the father of history? Letter A, Aristotle. Letter B, Herodotus. Letter C, Socrates. Letter D, Plato. Letter E, Hippocrates. The correct answer is B, Herodotus. Prof. Mitzi. Okay, this is on theater and music. What is the name of the character in the West End production about the French Revolution that was played by both Leia Salonga and Rachel Ann Gaw. A. Cosette. B. Fantine. C. Eponin. D. Amandin. E. Marius. Them. 
Fantin. Incorrect. Nimra. A. Cosette. Incorrect. Sammy. C. Eponine. This female character is secretly in love with Marius, her student revolutionary friend. She sings one of the famous numbers in the show, On My Own. Correct. K check. Thank you, Prof Mitzi. Back to Prof Ricky. Among the various zones of the ocean, which region extends from the low tide mark to the edge of the continental shelf? A. Neuretic zone. B. Benthic zone. C. Pelagic zone. D. Epipelagic zone. Or E. Ozone. This extends from the low tide mark to the edge of the continental shelf and is characterized by shallow, well-lit water. The correct answer is neuretic zone. Thank you, Prof. Ricky. Prof. Lu. Cultural history. Anda. What was the first toy to be advertised on television in April 1952? Letter A, Lego. Letter B, Mr. Potato Head. Letter C, Barbie. Letter D, Hula Hoop. Letter E, Slinky. Sammy. C, Barbie. That is incorrect. Nimra, Mr. Potato Head. That is correct. Letter B, Mr. Potato Head. Okay, check. Back to Prof. Mitzi. This is a question on dance. Who is considered the first prima, prima ballerina in the Philippines? An honor that was declared in 1978 and was given the Gawad CCP Para Sa Sining Award of Excellence in 1992. A. Lisa Makuha. B. Alice Reyes. C. Mania Barredo. D. Stella Abrera. E. Melanie Motus. Sammy. B. Alice Reyes. Incorrect. Nimra. D. Stella Abrera. Incorrect. Jake. Letter E. Incorrect. Bem. Mania Barredo. So Mania Barredo performed for the Joffrey Ballet, Atlanta Ballet, and the Les Grandes Ballet Can Canadians. She has taught at the Mount Doris School of Ballet and is the founder and director of Metropolitan Ballet Theater. She has been described as the technical trump card of the Hari Raya Ballet Company. The answer is correct. K check. Prof. What geological feature is formed by the deposition of wind, blown sand, creating a mound or ridge in a desert environment? Mesa, butte, dune, plateau, or tundra? Bem. C. Dune. Dunes are formed by the accumulation of wind-blown sand in deserts, creating distinct ridge-like structures. Okay, check. Prof. Lu. Philippine geography naman. What is the capital of Antique? Letter A, Kaluya. Letter B, San Remigio. Letter C, San Jose de Buenavista. Letter D, Libertad. Letter E, Pandan. Jake, letter C. That is correct. Letter C, San Jose de Buenavista. <laughs> okay, check. Prof. Mitzi. Who is the Philippines' first national artist and is officially recognized as the Grand Old Man of Philippine Art? A. Jose Hoya. B. Fabian de la Rosa. C. Fernando Amorsolo. D. Vicente Manansala. E. Galo Ocampo. Bem. C. Fernando Amorsolo. He is renowned for his trademark luminosity and ability to render the iconic provincial Filipina. 
He painted scenes in glowing rural landscapes such as farmers ankle deep in rice fields, women in colorful barot sayas sorting through mangoes and vibrant society portraits. The answer is correct. K check. Thank you, Prof. Nitsi. Back to you, Prof. Ricky. Biology naman tayo. During cellular division, what structure ensures the equal distribution of chromosomes to daughter cells? A. Centrosome. B. Nucleolus. C. Ribosome. D. Lysosome. And E. Chromosome. Jake. Letter E. Chromosome. Male. Nimra. Letter A. Centrosome. The correct answer is centrosome. Plays a crucial role in organizing and separating chromosomes during cell division. K check. Back to Prof. Du. Balik tayo sa world history. This country is considered the youngest country in the world, gaining its independence only in 2011. Letter A, South Sudan. Letter B, Kosovo. Letter C, Montenegro and Serbia. Letter D, Timor Leste. Nimra. Letter A, South Sudan. That's correct. Letter A, South Sudan, K-Check. And that's it for our K-Check Pagalingan round. Congratulations to BEM, our K-Check daily winner, with a final score of 205 points. We'll see her again tomorrow when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. And of course, thanks to Nimra, to Sami, to Jake for joining us and of course to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Mitzi, Professor Ricky, and Professor Liu. Once again, I'm Jules Gia. And I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another Day Check. Check.